dumb but is here to entertain you. Things are getting even rougher and rougher. In our society of today, it is very difficult to have someone you can actually call a genuine friend talk less of a best friend. Senzo Meiwa has been the topic of discussion for 8 good years already, but guess what? This particular topic is not coming to a closure because no one is accepting that they claimed Senzo's life, even including Longwe Twala who happened to be Senzo's friend back in the days, who is being blamed of recent, but it feels like they all are debunking all the allegations. In today's video, I am going to give you all some insider details because trips are very much bittered as they even reveal that Longwe Twala had serious beef with Senzo and of course Longwe should definitely be the one who has the balls to pull the trigger on Senzo so do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before detailing now the entire news to you all, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Twitter users have weighed in on a statement by Tumelo Madlala which suggests that Longwe Tswala was the one who claimed the last Bafana Bafana Captain Senzo Meiwa the Pretoria High Court heard on Monday 14th November. Senzo Meiwa is believed to have been shot during an armed robbery at his then girlfriend house, Kelly Kumalo, in Vosluros on the 26th of October 2014. But what several people were not aware of the fact is that Longwe back then had a serious beef with Senzo. The main reason for the beef is really not so known, but if you ask me, I'm going to let you all actually know that Longwe Twala's beef with Senzo Meiwa was all as a result of Zandi. There were serious allegations that Zandi had an intimate affair with Senzo Meiwa alongside her sister Kelly Kumalo who was a legitimate girlfriend or should I say side chick of Senzo back in the days because Senzo was actually a married man and he was married with Mandisa. What actually shocked people is that Zandi happened to be having an affair with Senzo while dating Longwe Twala. And Longwe Twala happened to be Senzo Meiwa's very good friend too. That should definitely be the result of their serious beef. Also, it has been alleged by Longwe Twala that he doesn't know anything about all what is being said and going on about all the allegations that are being put forth about his name. Tumelo Malala as well went as far as even revealing that Longwe Twala is the one who actually, you know, pulled the trigger on Senzo. But still, he made us to understand that he is still not the one. But this is contradicting his statement he made already earlier on. And that actually explains why several South Africans believe that Tumelo has been a liar and a card player all this while. Probably he's playing some chairs with our brains, playing some chairs with our minds. Longwe Twala definitely has been through a whole lot within the past years because he has been to rehab on a countless number of times yes we know fully well that he was going through serious addiction but now it seems like things have gotten so better already just the fact that he was caught actually fighting with Zandi in Kelly Kumalo's house in Vosulurus says a whole lot. As Tumelo reveals that, Senzo Meiwa went in to separate the fight between two people in the house and of course it's alleged to be Zandi and Longwe Twala and hence the trigger was actually pulled by an intruder. All of these South Africans believe that they are just makeup stories and that a real person who actually pulled the trigger should definitely be Longwe Twala. And this is simply because of the fact that the very first allegations were saying that Longwe Twala actually entered Kelly Kumalo's mother's house in Vosloros with a gun, but that did not pertain to him. It belonged to his father, Chico Twala. And Chico Twala has revealed of a recent that if his son Longwe is the one who actually committed such an act, then Longwe should actually follow the due course of justice, let justice be served. Inasmuch as it is his son and he loves Longwe so very much, but still he wants justice to be served because he is as well very close with the Meiwa family.
Come to think of the fact that Chico Twala was even heard of recent allegedly to have met the Meiwas, especially Senzo Meiwas' mother, immediately as his son Longwest's name have been making rounds on social media that he pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa. It is actually alleged as he revealed to us that the main reason why he met with Senzo Meiwa's mother was simply because he wanted to go sympathize, he wanted to go, you know, give strength to her for her to understand that no, this is not the end of the world. He went to support her. Tell me what you think about Longretola's feud with Senzo. Do you think this is actually real? I love you also dearly.